Hi, I'm sure you've heard about a Chromebook. Uh, today we have with us one and we'll give you a quick run through on what it is and how to use it. This Samsung Chromebook runs on a Samsung Exynos 5 dual core ARM based system on a chip 1.7 GHz processor. The GPU is an ARM Mali T604 quad core 533 MHz. It's essentially the same processor and GPU found on the Google Nexus 10. The Samsung Chromebook weighs 1.1 kg and is 0.7 inches thick. It has an 11.6 inch display and a resolution of 1366 by 768. According to Google, the battery will be able to last you for 6.5 hours. It has dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities. There's one USB 3.0 port, one USB 2.0 port and a HDMI port. There is a multi-touch mouse pad as well. One of the major advantages for Chrome OS is that it gets its updates automatically so you're always running the freshest version of the operating system. This makes it easy to maintain and secure as well. Chrome OS is basically a Linux-based OS that's purpose-built to run the Chrome browser. And since the entire OS revolves around the browser, it starts up really fast. And there you have it. To set up the Chromebook for the first time, you need internet access. Alright, just choose your language. Select network. All you have to do is log in with your Google account details. All the customizations that you've done to your Chrome browser should appear on your Chrome OS as well. Customizations like bookmarks and themes should appear immediately. To customize the desktop like changing the wallpaper, just tap with two fingers on the trackpad and you will get an uh, option list. And just choose from any of the preloaded wallpapers. On the bottom left corner, you will see the taskbar launcher where all the major apps are pinned. Beside the launcher is the app drawer where all the other apps that are not pinned to the taskbar reside. To pin an app to the taskbar, simply right click on the icon and pin it to launcher. To uninstall an app, simply right click on it and click remove from Chrome. On the bottom right of the screen, you will find the settings options where you can have access to the Wi-Fi settings, Bluetooth settings, volume settings, and the battery information. To access more advanced settings, simply hit the settings button and the browser will open up where you have access to the advanced settings. Since Chrome OS is just a browser, you are required to be online most of the time. However, that's not possible for most of us. That's why Chrome OS also comes with offline apps for when you are not connected to the web. Even though there are plenty of offline apps, usage scenarios for the Chromebook is still fairly limited. If you're a power user, you might want to get yourself an Ultrabook instead. The Samsung Chromebook will be available in Singapore from this week on, along with two other Chromebooks from two other manufacturers. For now, there's no 3G model, but we're confident that it will be coming in the near future. With every Chromebook sold, Google will be providing you with 100GB of storage space right into your Google account. For more information, check out our article on hardwarezone.com.sg.